All right, Marine Lieutenant Colonel Stuart Schiller, by the way, waived his right to a jury trial and has requested a trial by a military judge. He pled guilty to all six charges in military court after publicly criticizing the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan in a Facebook post. For more on this, we are joined by military defense attorney Davis Yachts. David, good morning. Hey, good morning. So let's go right to this. Lieutenant uh, Colonel Scheller, he pleaded guilty to several charges and is seeking a discharge that allows him to keep some of his military benefits. Was this the best course of action for him? You know, it's a very complicated case. And, and one of the challenges he faces is truth is not really a defense in the military when it comes to making comments while in uniform that are perceived as disrespectful as a chain of command or political leaders. So once he was put into pretrial confinement, thrown into the brig, his options became very, very limited. So there's some complex issues here. Uh, I want to read you part of Schiller's prepared closing remarks. He delivered these yesterday. He said, quote, my calls for revolution were always about changing the system, a system that centralizes power and fails to hold senior leaders accountable, a system that will immediately turn on you if you speak out. Um, there are two schools of thought here. One is that this judge uh, could make an example of Schiller and throw the book at him. The other is that he sort of, uh, sort of takes it easy on the lieutenant colonel and, and makes it very clear that this was not the right thing to do, but that he should not be dishonorably discharged, et cetera. Uh, how do you think this plays out ultimately? I, honestly, I think that the plea deal that he negotiated with his attorneys sort of answered that question. Because of the plea deal they negotiated, there's very little the judge can actually do. The judge can order a reprimand and essentially fines in the form of forfeitures of pay. But the plea agreement that was negotiated sort of took uh, a lot of the severe punishment he could have faced off the table. So Scheller is facing sentencing today and is expected to face minimal penalty. Reportedly that he can get a letter of reprimand and forfeit some of his monthly pay for up to a year. Are you hearing similar reports? Do we think this is what's going to be happening? Again, I think that's absolutely right. He was facing potentially years in military confinement as well as a dismissal, which is the equivalent of a dishonorable discharge for an officer. Because of the plea deal, he negotiated um, the maximum sentence that he faces really is a reprimand and essentially fines. Let's let's back up for a moment. Let's say he was your client. You were representing Stuart Schiller in this particular case. It's a unique case. It could be a standard bearer for future situations. Like the social media has changed um, has changed the arithmetic a little bit. What would you have advised him? I, I think that the biggest challenge he faced and his attorneys faced was his repeated social media posts. You know, military law is clear. You can't wear a uniform and criticize political or military leaders. And, and again, truth isn't a defense. So we can have empathy, sympathy, military members can share some of his anger and frustration, but he was in a difficult position. And one of the issues is he continued to place posts after he was ordered not to. Um, and I think that's why they threw him in pretrial confinement, threw him in the brig, um, and it really did limit the options for his defense. Uh, you know, challenging a lawful order in a military courtroom is a very complex and difficult process. And and here he took a very quick, uh, an option for a quick resolution and a plea deal. That's interesting. You think it's so, that black and white? Just that he circumvented yeah, the chain of command, it's that black and white? Uh, unfortunately, in uniform, it, it is very difficult. What mm -hmm. he did while in uniform is, is a challenge. You know, normally, though, you don't see military members court-martialed for this. I right. will say that. You know, a military member that makes a mistake, makes a political statement while in uniform, appears at a rally in uniform, makes comments like this, you typically don't see them being court-martialed. Here he was. So I do think there is an issue of, of the military potentially trying very hard to make an example of him just by the fact that he was charged. All right. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you so much for being with us, Davis Younts. Uh, we appreciate the expertise. We'll see how this plays out uh, a little bit later today. Thank you. Thank you. All right. A lot more coming up on Wake Up.